In today's screencast from the Apple blog, we'll be covering the running of scripts through Quicksilver. Um, so let's dive right in. I've got the keyboard viewer down here, so if you need to slow down or pause the screencast, you can check out what keys I'm hitting along the way. So we'll invoke Quicksilver with a command space. That's just how I've got it set up. A command comma brings up our preferences. You need to make sure first you've got the plugin installed, and the plugin will be called Extra Scripts. Make sure you've got a check mark next to it, it'll install itself. Next, to make sure that it's installed, you're going to go to the catalog and to the modules, and it'll be the Scripts Quicksilver Extras. Make sure you've got a check mark next to it, and then once it's checked, you want to make sure that it's selected here and scan it to make sure that all the scripts are indexed and available through Quicksilver. If we look at the information on this plugin or this module, uh, we'll see a list of all the items that are available to us. Um, some pretty useful things to access at a couple keystrokes through Quicksilver. Um, so let's take a look at how this stuff actually works. Um, I invoke Quicksilver. If I type in top 10, that brings up a top command that you'd use in Unix to see um, what some what what the the top 10 apps are that are using system resources like your CPU or your memory. Um, so it comes back there and it loads it in as a text. Uh, if I hit period, it shows me all the text items in the list. So right now Quicksilver is taking up the majority of my CPU uh, with a core service next, the top command, uh, kernel task, snaps pro, which is actually running the screencast and so on and so forth. So you can get a quick quick list there. Um, I don't usually run that script through Quicksilver. I generally run it through my terminal and see it running up there. Um, I'll cancel that. Um, next thing in Quicksilver, maybe I want to um, toggle my audio. Um, I'm switch my MacBook from place to place to place and occasionally I've got a Griffin iMic connected to it or I've got various um, USB headsets connected to it or sometimes I just want the internal audio output. Um, so the toggle audio output will actually change it between the last two things that you've done it between. So maybe my USB headset will toggle to the internal audio output. So that's a nice and quick script. If I run that, it'll actually pop up the system preferences, make the change, and close it again. I want the settings toggled back, so I'll run it one more time. Make sure they're coming through my headset, and all set. Um, you can also do a logout through here. Obviously don't want to do that during the screencast. Um, I can do an empty, oops, empty, if I could spell, empty trash. And I hit the command, the comma, so it added more than one item. But now I've got empty trash, I can run that. It's going to run through. Got an empty trash already, so no worries. So anyway, so that's running some of the the extra scripts that Quicksilver offers. Um, you can obviously also run a number of of uh, Apple scripts and that would be under the catalog and the script section and these are the scripts that are just built into the system. And you can do the info and see all the scripts that are available um, through the operating system and then you've got specific scripts that maybe you've you've got installed for your user that you've created and things like that so lots of different options um, adds one more layer of um, interesting usefulness to Quicksilver so I definitely recommend giving it a try if you have questions leave them in the comments